What's up, my guys? It's Al here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be looking at, yes, another gear car. Um, I have been working on quite a few gear cars, actually, since the last one I showed. Unfortunately, a lot of them haven't really been improvements. They've mostly been just kind of reiterations on things I've already done. This one itself is not really an improvement, but it is taking it from a completely different direction to see if I can improve it this way, and I think I might have some room to work with here. So... Not only am I doing some things with gear cars, I am doing some new things with recording, so if this does look a bit weird afterwards, I do apologize for that, and I hope to fix it soon. But this is what I've got here. This is the um, Maxi engine. This is a six-cylinder? Yeah, six-cylinder. I forgot, almost forgot how many cylinders it had. Six-cylinder boxer engine. This is the new gearbox. This is mostly what I've been working on. It has two gears and reverse is accomplished by this little gearbox mechanism here. And then it just goes back through a drive shaft, universal joint, and it still has the back rear suspension like I have been using. But when switching gears, rather than having all the gears meshed at the same time and just picking which one sends power out, uh, these only have one set of gears meshed at a time. The hope being that it reduces the friction allowing more power from the engine to go to the wheels easier without all that friction like I said. So let's actually get the engine started up. Right now we are in first gear and if we hit two the gear will change and now we are in second gear. Um, unfortunately the way this gearbox is set up I do not have any other gears at the moment and the gear ratios I skip a gear ratio that I would normally have in my gear cars but honestly, I'm not too worried about it because it is working so far. I might put a bigger engine in it to see if I can get this gearbox to max out because the six cylinder engine I have in it now is starting to struggle with this gear ratio system. Now the cool little thing is that little reverse mechanism like I had shown before. The way it works is, oh man, I've hit a rock. I guess I get shot off now. Come on, get in reverse. Uh, how about we go into first gear? There we go, first gear. There we go, now we got the torque we need. Come on, get off there. The way it works is while this arm is out, it gets caught up on the bar next to the engine, and there's another small gear down there which causes the input and the output to counter rotate, to rotate in opposite directions. However, when that bar closes, it locks that whole joint together making a single piece and it rotates together. Then when those the joint gets locked in the engine, the two points rotate independently because there's that third gear on the bottom which spins it. So there's the third gear down there. And if we go into first, or no, we go into forward, hit one, start the engine. This whole thing rotates as one, as you can see here. And if we hit three, that arm swings out. And now that third gear is engaged and they counter rotate. As it locks up, they become one single piece and it rotates in forward. So that's how that works. And yeah, it's not as fast, it's not as fast. It might not be as powerful. Honestly, I think it might be a bit more powerful torque wise. If I put either like an eight cylinder or maybe a 10 cylinder on this, I could probably get a bit more speed out of this gearbox. But past that, there's really not much I can do with this. I have been working on some systems to get four wheel drive put in some of my cars. And I kind of have been working with Elstrak and he he was he was here when I was building this. He was helping a few things. I think he made a few changes to this. Um, but if you do enjoy gear cars, I would suggest going to Elstrak. He does do a lot of gear cars as well. However, this is our new one. It's not a big leap forward however it is a step in the right direction I do believe but I think I'm going to go ahead and drive around for a little bit and do a time lapse like I normally would so let's go ahead and actually do that because I, I do enjoy them I do like to relax and watch them um, if you do get if you guys do enjoy as well please let me know I'm gonna go, going to go ahead and end up the episode here. If you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, please leave them in the comments down below. 
If you enjoy the channel, Jordan, doing please subscribe helps out a lot. Until next time, this has been Al playing with a new gear car and gearbox concept.